Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. This here we can raise as 4 raised to power x over 4 square equals to 36 on this side. The next step here. I can write this as 4 raised to the power of x over 4 square foot times 4, that's 16. And equals to here, we can express this as 36 over 1. Then from here, we cross multiply 4 raised to the power x times 1. Same thing as 4 raised to the power of x equals to 36 times 16. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log. 4 raised to the power of x equals to log 36 times 16. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log logarithm. And when we have log m raised to the power of p, the same thing as p log m. But this here, this becomes x log 4 equals to log. 36 times 16. And also here, we divide both sides by log 4. Divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. Which implies here, log 4 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 36 times 16 over log 4. Then, what we have here follows on the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, it's the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 36 plus log 16 over log 4. The next step here. We separate this into two fractions. All we have becomes x equals to log 36 over log 4 plus log 16 over log 4. And also here, we can write 16 as 4 times 4, which is 4 squared. Then all we have here becomes x equals to log 36 over log 4 plus log 4 squared over log 4. Then, here we apply the power of logarithm. This 2 comes here and what we have becomes x equals to log 36 over log 4 plus 2 log 4 over log 4. Then from here, we have log 4 cancelled each other. We are left with 2, which implies x equals to log 36 over log 4 plus 2. Then also here, 36 can be expressed as 4 times 9. That is, here we have x equals to log 4 times 9 over log 4 plus 2. Then, here also, this follows from the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 4 plus 2. That is, here also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 9 over log 4 plus 2. That is, here log 4 cancel each other, we have 1 left, which implies x equals to 1 plus log. 9 over 
log 4 plus 2. Then also here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. And also 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 3 squared over log 2 squared. Then plus 2. And of course, 1 plus 2 here, we can add that together. That's 3. That is, we have x equals to 3 plus. Here we apply the power of log logarithm. 2 comes here, we have 2 log 3. Also, 2 comes here, we have 2 log 2. Then here, these two cancelled each other. And what we have left become x equals to 3 plus log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here, we can apply a change of base. And when we have log a over log b, we can express this as log a to base b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 3 to base 2. At this here, we have the value of x in this problem as 3 plus log 3 base 2. Then, let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 3 base 2, then minus 2. Is this equals to 36 on this side? Then here yeah, we have 3 minus 2, that's 1. That is, we have 4 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 here? Yeah. Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. As this here, this becomes 4 raised to the power 1 times 4 raised to the power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then here, 4 raised to the power 1, same thing as 4. This we have 4 times. Here we can express 4 as 2 squared. Which is raised to the power log 3 raised to 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then, yeah, this power multiplies. And we have 4 times 2 raised to the power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? And from here, we reverse these two. Excuse me. We reverse these two from power log. And we have 4 times 2 raised to the power log. 3 square is 2. Is it equals to 36 here? That is, here we have 4 times 2 raised to the power log 3 square is 9 is 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? And then this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Then what we have here becomes 4 times 9. Is it equals to 36 on this side? And of course, 4 times 9 gives us 36, which is equals to 36 here, which implies the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with some sort and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.